draw a diagram and explain the basic procedure to design circular flange pipe joint. The circular flange pipe joint provides a temporary connection between two pipes with the help of circular flanges. The flanges are welded with pipes and then bolted to form a temporary joint. When a fluid flows through the pipe, it applies pressure on its walls. Thus, it is essential to design these pipe elements in such a way that they are strong enough to withstand the stresses developed due to fluid pressure. The preferred nomenclature for a circular flange pipe joint are Now let's understand the basic procedure to design a circular flange pipe joint. The design of circular flange pipe joint involves Design for pipe Design for bolts and design for flange. Let's now understand each of them one by one. Let's first design the pipe. For this we have to determine the following. Inner diameter of the pipe, thickness of the pipe. Let's first determine the inner diameter of the pipe. We know that the rate of fluid flow is given by cross-sectional area of the pipe is given by substituting the value of cross-sectional area A of the pipe in the above expression we get thus inner diameter of the pipe will be now let's determine the thickness of the pipe the wall thickness of the pipe can be obtained from the thin cylindrical or thick cylindrical formula according to thin cylindrical formula wall thickness of pipe is given by according to thick cylindrical formula wall thickness of pipe is given by Let's design bolts. For this, we have to determine the following. Number of bolts. Nominal diameter of bolts. Pitch circle diameter of bolts. Circumferential pitch of the bolts. Core diameter of the bolts. Number of bolts. Number of bolts is given by. Nominal diameter of bolts. Nominal diameter of bolts is given by. Nominal diameter of bolts is also given by. Pitch circle diameter of bolts. Pitch circle diameter of bolts is given by Circumferential pitch of the bolts. Circumferential pitch of the bolts is given by Now let's determine the core diameter of the bolts. As fluid flows through the pipe, it applies pressure force on the joint. This force will try to tear the bolts apart. So the bolts should resist this force. The magnitude of this force is given by Similarly, pressure force on the flanges is given by Where D1 is the effective diameter on which the fluid pressure acts, which is given by For the bolts to sustain maximum resistance force Pressure force acting on the bolts greater than equal to pressure force acting on the flanges Thus, core diameter of the bolts will be Let's design the flange. For this, we have to determine the following. Thickness of flange, width of flange, outer diameter of flange, thickness of flange. Thickness of flange is given by Width of flange. Width of flange is given by Outer diameter of flange. Outside diameter of flange is given by